All right, all, all right, and welcome, welcome back to DaVinci Gaming, and here we are. Man, back with some more Victoria 3. This game, we played it a little bit last night, and, uh, oh man, we just kept playing it and kept playing it. We did the, uh, we did a couple of the tutorials. Um, we're gonna play another one here today. Let's see, let's, uh, jump right on in here and get it rolling. There we go. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, Mohammed, to the live stream, Trev. Welcome all the chatters, all the lurkers, all the non-naughty bots, and everybody watching the replay later. Man. All right, so let's uh, try a new game here. We did played uh, these uh, learning the games here. We did uh, Sweden. We crashed and burned pretty hard. We did Belgium. We did a little bit better. Now let's try Chile. See how that rolls. There we go. Yeah, just like any other grand strategy game, this is uh, all about that management of uh, the money and the people. Man, we haven't really gotten into the people a whole lot, just because um, I think last night we went... Uh, hey, Stormy Cat, how we doing? I think last night we kind of went somewhere in the ballpark of... Uh, I don't know, maybe about 10 years or something at the most. Where did we end up? Oh, no, we we wound up about 1850. So about 14 years, I think. With uh, Belgium. All right, welcome to the Age of Progress. The year is 1836. Jose Prieto is uh, General of Chile. All right, here we go. Let's do this. We're going to control Chile for the next 100 years. Well... Or the next two hours, I guess. Jumps on Da Vinci. <laughs> there we go. All right. These are the same. So if you're new to the stream, if you're new to the game, uh, roll back through the other streams there because it kind of explains all these on the first one. There we go. Let's uh, go through these. Oops. Oh, yeah. We got to go through this. Yep. 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 Go here till it highlights. There we go. All right. Good. All right. These are like EU4 there with the influence authority and bureaucracy. Treasury telling us how we uh, get money, which I didn't pay attention for the first couple of playthroughs. So why should I pay attention now? All right, the lenses down here. There we go. Oh, we got to click on one. There's a the production. Choose a lens interface. There you go. All right, now we need to start paying attention. It's going to start getting into the specifics of the country we're working. <clears throat> Adjust the speed of the game. All right, we're going to unpause, pause, slow it down. All right, you've just been given your first tutorial. We've paused the game to give you time to remember. Unpause the speed. All right. Expand the basic building. Expand the livestock ranches in Santiago. Fix capacity deficit. Oh, man. We already got a deficit. All right, first of all, let's, um, well, let's go ahead and do what it wants us to do here. All right, we're going to go to the journal. That's going to say expand a basic building. All right, the livestock ranch in Santiago. All right, we need to find where the flip is Santiago. This is, uh, what is this? That's Los Rios. That's Santiago. All right. They want us to go down here. Where's the livestock ranch? Hmm. Oh, tell me why. It wants me to go to tell me why. All right. So we got to go to journal. We got to go basic building. Tell me how. Tell me how. What the flip, man? All right, so we're supposed to go here. I know how to do it. We're supposed to go here. Go to the buildings. They want the livestock ranch, which is this one. And then you want, they want us to click on here and then go here. I understand. Livestock ranch is in Santiago. There we go. It's done. <coughs> mm. 
All right, restore the bureaucracy balance. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, states, as they're so called. So we have Chilean Araucania. All right, that looks to be a non-urbanized area. It's got sulfur mines, nice. Fishing, logging. Oh, uh, these are what can be, because they're grayed out. Wow, everything's grayed out, so there is nothing built there. There's uh, a lot of peasants and a lot of unemployed there. Wow. All right, the next one. A lot of grayed out also. We got coal, sulfur, lead, whales, fishing. We do have some logging right now. We got livestock and we got tobacco. We could have sugar and wheat later. Construction. There's a port. There's a barracks. All right. Los Rios. Then we got, uh, that's Los Rios. Then we got Santiago here. Santiago might be, yeah, Santiago is our only urbanized place. We got a trade center, a government area. We got the tooling workshop. That's good to start with. The iron mines, gold mines. There we go. Now, if this is anything like EU... Um, the gold mines are actually kind of nice to a degree, but they're also a deficit. Um, you have to learn how to play them. Uh, livestock and wheat, naval base barracks, and a port. All right, so we've got a little bit of food, a little bit of clothing here in the livestock. Fabric and meat. The wheat farms, grain and wine. We got iron, tools... All right, so we got iron and tools. We've got lumber. Then we, we go down here. We've got the possibility of some sulfur. Um, I think this one's probably our next best bet. Sulfur and coal. Sulfur, coal, lead, iron, tools, and lumbers. That's what we have to work with here, at least to start out with. All right, I honestly think we could probably... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another one down here. I totally missed this one. What do we got here? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is non-urban also. What else we could do here? All right, so look at our arable land. We have 13 here. So that's not very good. We got two. Not good at all. We got um, 34. All right, so there's where our farms are going to more likely be. We can build those up a little bit better. Arable land. Wow, 85 there. Man, our urbanized area is where it's at. What about our neighbors? Bolivian. There's that. I tell you what, eventually when we decide we want to start fighting, this might be a good area to kind of... Um, this could be a good uh, country to kind of slowly take over. The only issue is Brazil winds up being a super powerhouse in about 10 or 15 years. We saw that last night. Brazil kind of took over a little bit down here and then took all this over down in here. So they were like from Venezuela all the way down and maybe close to Argentina. They really, really did a number on everybody else around them. All right, let's get started. So what's our next thing? Fix capacity deficit. Restore bureaucracy balance. All right. Overusing your country's capacities imp imposes serious penalties. Sort this problem out as soon as possible, either by increasing your, your generation or decreasing your usage. Increasing your generation. Oh, generating more, I guess is what it's trying to say. All right, tell me how, because I'm clueless. Much like your budget, your three capacities have inflows and outflows. The value set at the top of the screen is the size and excess. Oh, these. We never really messed with these yesterday. Instead of accumulating, the balance is converted into a positive effect if above zero and a negative effect if below zero. All right, so that's negative. We got to fix the bureaucracy. We were having that problem last night. I think that's where uh, we were wasting money. 
maybe the bureaucrats were stealing all our money. You know, that never happens in government. All right. The negative effect is much more severe than the positive, so it's usually better to allocate your capacities up to the limit than to maintain a high positive balance. However, it's always very bad to run a deficit. All right, so let's do that. To fix your deficit, you must take stock of your inflows and outflows and either increase your generation of your capacity, reduce your allocation of it, or both. All right, good, good, good. So how do we do it? Start by hovering over the bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is primarily generated by government administration. And generating more can be as simple as constructing more of those. See, now, I thought doing away with some would help last night and maybe it, like, actually hurt me. It is expended to maintain tax collection efficiency across your in incorporated states. And this cost scales the size of your population. Furthermore, each institutional investment level costs a certain amount of bureaucracy depending on the size of your incorporated population. All right. It's allocated to maintain commanders, trade routes, country. That And you don't have a trade agreement. Also fixes an economy. All right. So we've got uh, from 15% bureaucracy deficit. Usage is higher than generation. Oh, all right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we got tax waste is 15%. That means that out of all the taxes we're generating, 15% of it goes in a bureaucrat's pocket, I guess. All right, a base value and 70 from government administration. Your total usage is 196 due to two incorporated states pops in incorporated states colonial we got colonial affairs somewhere hey good morning yeah my coffee's right here which coffee do i have oh i've got the old mill from tennessee right there pretty soon i'll have a new da vinci mug because we've got uh, new merchandise a whole new line of merchandise we've got our what the flip happening so Check that out there on the merch. Let's see. Colonial Affairs trade routes are minus 120. Hmm. So maybe we need to lo stop a trade route or something. Close grain artillery. So the more that we produce. All right. So the more that we produce right here. The more that we produce internally, the less we're going to have to rely upon the trade routes. So like if, for say, we built a textile mill and we made clothes because we already have animals here. Uh, Chile has been pretty good for animals over the years. We know that. Most people do. Um, and so if I improve the animals, improve the fabric, and then get some... Uh, so if we, we, so if we improve the animals, improve the fabric and improve the clothing line that does away with clothing there. So that could lose that trade route there, which would minus 20 or take that minus 20 away. If we improve our food supplies, that could improve the grain could also improve the liquor, which would do away with those two. Um, the small arms and artillery is going to be a long ways away because I don't think we have a small arms factory or anything close to that. Now the clippers we could work on because all every, every province that we have, every state that we have is on the ocean front. We could work on our ships and do away with the clippers eventually. So those could definitely help out by fixing all of those things. So there's our trade routes. So the incorporated states. What do we do about the incorporated states? States that are fully integrated into a country. Pops in incorporated states pay taxes, gain access to benefits from institutions, and participate fully in the country's political system. Unincorporated states can be incorporated. All right. 
So the more states that we incorporate, that we allow the population to be members of everything, then the more that's going to cost. All right, so that's how that works. All right, here we go. In addition to bureaucracy, we've got it. Maintaining bureaucracy excess increases construction efficiency. Okay, so an excess in bureaucracy increases the construction efficiency. So that was another thing I was doing bad. So if this is negative, then your construction is going to be inefficient. Same thing. You got a lot of bureaucrats passing out those construction contracts, pocketing the flipping money. Just like it happens nowadays. If you run a deficit, you incur tax waste. Yep. While constructing additional government administration or switching them to more effective production methods is usually the best way to fix a bureaucracy deficit. And this is a whole lot of thinking so early in the morning. But I tell you what, this game is flipping amazing. There is uh, so much depth and detail in this game. But of course, that's paradox for you. Next, we'll take a look at the authority. So hover over to see its breakdown. Authority originates from laws, particularly less liberal ones. Authority, okay. It is allocated to levy consumption taxes on pop needs. Impose your will on the population. Decrease, suppress, bolster interest groups, etc. That's that. All right, so we're super positive on that. <clears throat> Effects from 100% or more excessive excess authority. Generation is higher than usage. I'll be negative in five minutes. Barbsy, how we doing? Man, I hope you're enjoying your day. Are you, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's almost time to go to sleep, isn't it? Nighttime for you. Man, appreciate you being here. You're an amazing, amazing person. You're already ready for bed. That's right. Man, I'm already for bed and I just woke up. <laughs> All right, there we go. Maintaining authority excess increases your legislative efficiency. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so that makes it better. All right, the influence is to see inflows and outflows. Influence originates primarily from your rank which are consequences of your relative prestige. All right, so this one's about the prestige, where we are in the world. Base value, we're a minor power, landowners and family ties. All right, got it. How to fix it. You want to have a voice in world affairs, you should always be working towards a greater prestige. Good. Use the information in the previous steps to bring a balance of the relative capacity up above zero. Got it. I understand it, but I ain't going to figure out how to do it. No. All right. So I, what we said earlier, we got the... What, dude? Come on. Let me click. What the flip? Let me click over it. Come on, man. Trade routes. Trade routes. There we go. All right. So what I did there, I was trying to click on it to get it to hold. But if you'll notice, if I hover over it for a while, it gets a border. And once this screen gets a border, now I can go to it. And then I can hover over this. Same thing, till it gets a border. Once it gets a border, then I can move to that screen. And hover over any of this to find out about it. And then go to those details. So you can go screen within a screen. Or, um... Uh, menu within a menu like this forever so then I hover over this till that one goes solid hover over that that one goes solid now I can go to that one etc solid let's go down to our trade so clothing and grain Yeah, finally reading the tutorial. No. Actually, um, there's four countries on the tutorial. We're on the third one now. So each um it seems like each each one as you go through the four different tutorials, or I guess as you're looking this way. <laughs> as you go through the four tutorials, 
Um, each one progressively does something slightly different. So the beginning is, is pretty much the same. Now, remember yesterday, when I last night, when I was going through, I was having a problem with my money, even on the second one. That's because right here, the bureaucracy was negative, and I was having tax waste and trade route waste and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it'll take about five times just to basically get it figured out. Yeah, it's a pretty big learning curve. So this is going to be like a game. Anytime there's a game like this that has a huge learning curve and uh, this much depth and detail, usually that means it's going to be a good solid game for like the next uh, three or five years or something. You know, so now that this has fully been released on Victoria 3, um, I've I got uh, Victoria 4 on my wish list. That should be out uh, in six months. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding some games are like that though but not these uh not these paradox really these things are pretty intense all right so what did i say again we're gonna go here we're gonna look at the trade routes we're gonna work on our clothes we're gonna look work on our grain and liquor so let's take a look at our country where the flip is our country at right here so we're chilly oh that's not us Oh, this is us. This is this is somebody else. I thought that was us, man. All right, the tension is calm. But you know what? I wonder how soon we could learn to attack. Yeah, the Age of Empires. There you go. Oh, man, I love that game. I've loved that game forever. All right, so here we go. We're looking for we're looking for the animals to work on our clothing industry. And we're looking at the farming to improve our grain and our liquor. So this one here has livestock, which would be meat and fabric. It doesn't have it yet, but we can build it. If you build it, they will come. All right, this one has tobacco. It could get wheat, which would be grain and wine. That's, oh shoot, that's not liquor. Hmm, sugar? Nope. All right, meat and fabric. Where do you get the grain from? Or I think you I thought you got liquor from uh the wheat. Maybe um maybe the wheat has a secondary farm method. All right, here's a wheat here. So let's look at this. I think it's a secondary maybe. Citrus? No. Nope. All right, so we do have a couple of we do have a couple of farms here. We've got the livestock, we got this, but we don't have anything in the textile, I don't think. We don't have the textile industry. So we would have to build that. That would take us a while. Yeah, we don't have a textile industry. And the textile industry Textile mill. Hmm, it doesn't say what it takes. I don't want to build it just yet. This one here. All right, so these, because they don't have the uh, urbans, then that means it's probably unincorporated. Maybe it said we had two incorporated, which would be this one, I'm sure. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, maybe it's two. No? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to do the same thing. Let's start with our construction to kind of beef that up a little bit. That'll increase this bureaucracy a little bit. But we got to do it. So where are we going to build at? We need to build up our farms here a little bit. There. This is arable land of 85. You spilt your drink. Dude. Seriously. Seriously, Barbsy. Cost of liquor nowadays. Especially when I have to import it from Britain. <laughs> Alright, so we have arable land of 85. 
Trying to get well being up first. Make everyone happy to pay some taxes. Oh, well being up first. Yep. Well, that'll be a while because I got to get all different kinds of goods. <clears throat> so the construction, the more that we do our construction, uh, the faster these things will, uh, the faster we can build things and the cheaper it, it becomes to build them. And right now we only have five on our construction. So it's going to take a long time to build everything. All right, tools. Because we're going to need tools, but we don't really have anything in tools. Probably have to do this. So let we'll build a urban center here, a government place here. Add to that bureaucrats. All right, I don't think we really want to mess with this one for a little while. We'll leave this one alone. People will probably, like, migrate out of here. We have arable land of two, so that sucks. Uh, we could do logging camps here, I guess. Yeah, we only have two, so that means I think we can only raise that to level two. So let's not focus on this one for a while. Let's instead... Let's go here. Let's raise the construction here. So we're going to add a construction there. There we go. We're going to wait for that to get done. 50 flipping weeks. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the third world country, Da Vinci. Takes a year just to build the starter construction camp. Holy fleepin' fleepin' flip. Can we do anything else to make this go faster? Can we build a government administration? Because they have no food. They're totally unhappy. Yeah, I know, man. I guess we could uh, change our trade shit. Um, incorporated states. Population in incorporated states. Colonial affairs. Let's, let's figure out about the colonial affairs. What's going on there? Colonial resettlement law. wonder what that means. This one. Colonial growth. You cannot increase your level of investment in this institution above its maximum of two. Total weekly cost. Why? Why is that here? What is this? Colonial growth generation. Number of investment. Bureaucracy. Hmm. Man, this is going to take flipping forever. Need a mathematician for this game. <laughs> True. Institution laws. Home affairs. Presidential republic. No. No police. Hmm. Law supported by one interest group. Law supported a dedicated police force. Hmm. Let's wait. All right, let's go back here. Tell me how. Got it. Got it. Capacity. It's telling me I need to do something here. All right, let's go back. All right, here we go. 
bureaucracy, government administration. It's expended to maintain taxes, incorporated states, institutional investment level. Bureaucracy allocated to commanders, command rank, trade routes, and can I get rid of some trade routes? Move. Get out. Get out of the way there. All right. So where are we going here? All right. Trade route is. Hmm. So we're trading with Britain and America. And that's going to take flipping forever. That's going to take a full year. Man. Budget market buildings. Market. Trade routes. Grain. Clippers. Can I just like do away with having clippers? Goods with considerable import demand. Potential for export and none. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbsy, you can start as any country anywhere. Yep. Yeah, you can start. Right now, this starts as a British market because it's 1836. I could start as these little places here. Right here. I could start as Nagati, Tau. The South Island, uh... Yeah, yeah, you can start as anything. I could start as Noongar, which is its own state, I think. This originally wasn't part of uh, British Australia, I guess. New Guineas. Yeah, anything. So this one's going to be a challenge because this is a lot smaller country. I mean, uh, economically, than Belgium. Hmm. Where are we going here? Cancel this. Where are we where are we at here with the building? Alright, we got what? Buildings. Alright, construction. <clears throat> oh that livestock ranch. Oh wow. 24 weeks on that. All right, let's speed it up, man. We're going too slow. All right, how's our money? How's our budget? Ooh. Soaking away some money, aren't we? Taking away all of our money, aren't we? Every time there's a storm, the wildcats come out. All the animals hide in the trees. <laughs> all right, we're barely maintaining our money. We took a serious dip when we started constructing. How's the buildings? All right, we got 19 weeks. Wow. This is taking fleeping forever. 17 weeks. 15 weeks. 14. Ten weeks. <clears throat> All right. What else can we work on next? Hmm. So we got seven weeks left of this. What's going to be next? Oh, we do have a tooling workshop. We can work on that. Uh, let's work on actually. Hmm. What else were we missing? Grain? We were importing grain from, uh... 
Yeah, we're importing grain from Britain. So let's improve our wheat production everywhere. So that'll be next. So we got four weeks here. So let's work on our wheat. That's going to feed all our people. So we'll work on wheat here. And then when this uh, thing is done here, we'll actually build a wheat farm here in Los Rios. There we go. That helps. All right. So the expansion of the livestock ranch in Santiago you ordered some time ago is now complete. The building can now support a larger workforce and produce more goods. You will no longer have to pay weekly material costs for the goods required in its expansion. The rate by which you can order the expansion of buildings across Chile is numbered by the construction sector. Yep, got it. All right, that's why we were working on our constructor thing. So we got 11 weeks on that. Once that's done, we're going to improve we're going to build a grain here. Get some fishing going. Yeah, that could be good too. Definitely. So we do have the fishing options. We want to stay with these two uh, states right now. Because we at least have a little bit of constructing, uh, whatever these are called. Oh, the constructing sector. We don't have one built here. In Santiago. Well, no wonder it takes a while. And then we got the constructing sector here. Wait a minute. Oh, that's why it, it starts off with five, maybe. That's all we got. So now, as far as this, we got whaling and we got fishing. Whaling produces oil and meat. Oh, it consumes clippers, so that's going to increase our clipper production. Our takeaway, we're going to have to import more um, clippers. So goods produced there is fish. So I think this one right here, the fishing wharves, is going to be better than the whaling for now. And then this one here, we've got same thing. We got fishing here and we got whaling there, but it's going to, the whaling requires clippers. The clippers we're already importing, so we don't want to do the clippers. Later on, the oil will be nice. But right now, it's too expensive for us. Change any production method on the wheat farm in Santiago. All right, so our wheat farm here, they want us to change the production method. Wow. Wow. Barbsy, how we doing? <laughs> Are you awake now? <laughs> All right, so this one here doesn't really do anything. Simple farming. We only have simple farming there. We could change our... Right now we have vineyards for wine. We could change that. Right now we're making... Wine, but we need shopkeepers. This one would be fruit, sugar, and wine. All right. Then this here, we have harvesting tools. That would increase thing. It's going to increase our tools consumption. And it's going to lower the amount of laborers that are needed because we're using tools instead of laborers. So it looks like it's going to give us slightly more money, but cost more tools. Now, do we have tool production somewhere? Yeah, we do have tool production here. All right, so Santiago, the wheat, let's do that. Let's use the tools. Got it. 
All right, and then we've got three weeks left for the constructor sector to be done. Then we're going to do wheat in both. So how's our money looking? Money's slowly growing. It's okay. The first time you've ever done that scream. Yeah, that scream's pretty crazy. All right, now this one on the wheat. Oh, it doesn't have wheat. Man, that's going to take a while to make. Um, 150 construction. Wow. It's going to take a while. What about this one to increase the level? This one takes 150 construction. Hmm. Maybe let's do that one. One week left. There you go. Let's do it. Um, where's our wheat? There you go. 38 weeks. Wow. Hmm. That should have gone up there. Why did that not go up? Oh, maybe five is the minimum. Oh, wow. Wow, five is the minimum. Oh, my lord. All right, so that's good to know. So if you have, we start out with zero on our construction. We had no, no, uh, these, um, where the flip are they? The construction things. We started out with all of them grayed out, so we had none. So I think, um, you get five just as a basic. Yeah. All right, that's something else good to know. Per level modifier is two on the construction. Wow. All right, let's go back up here. How long is that going to take to build a constructing? 50? Oh, man, that's going to take a lot of money. How's our money looking? 133. So if it's more than 10 weeks, we're, we're sunk. And what's this building here? 30 weeks. Let's hurry up with the, with the uh, wheat farm. All right, when the wheat farm's done, we'll do a construction. So we should have built, like, maybe about three constructions first. Wow. All right, good to know. Good to know. Something else we learned. Man, this country has taken forever. Wow. Wow. Shoot, the Germans will be the Germans will be done with World War II and be over here before we get anywhere. Wow, look how fa look Brazil's growing. Brazil grew over here. They took over something. I think they took over a little country down here too. Already. That's crazy. And we're still doing absolutely flipping nothing. Alright. <clears throat> oh shoot man look at our money our money our money's killing us what do we got let's drop the military wages military's first to go um taxation level tax tax the poor don't pay the military there you go it'll be fine
wooden buildings. Um, iron frame building. I bet we might have. No. Yeah, something probably in the trade routes changed. All right, consumption taxes. All right, let's do use 100. Let's do a little bit off of the liquor, maybe. Tobacco. Let's uh, tax our tobacco. Let's tax our tax our liquor. There we go. Since we're importing it. There we go. Positive. That'll help for a minute. There we go. We're still at 130. We're okay. We're not great. Just okay. Stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Oh, it's a green. 103. 102. We're okay. How's our buildings? We're at 12 weeks until the weed farm's done. That'll help. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to that stuff, man. Alright, then we're gonna do two construction levels. We'll do one in each one of these. How close is this? 11 weeks. Let's go a little faster. Oh my lord, this is gonna be like 1850 before we get off the ground. There we go, it's going up. It's going up. So when this gets down to a week left, then we're going to build a construction. Do we have a construction down here? Yep, we got a construction here. We'll build a second construction here. And then that'll allow us to build this wheat farm. Seven weeks. Am I reading the notes at the top right? Expand the production building, uh, the tobacco. Expand the tobacco. Yeah, it wants us to do that. I'm trying to fix this one here. So the only way to do that is to get rid of our trade problem. So right here, it wants us to expand the tobacco plantation. So that'll still work the same way. So we're over here. Let's go down here. Two weeks. When we're down to one week, I'm going to build this. When this one's done, I'm going to build another one. There we go. And let's go. There you go. So this one's going to take 10 weeks. There we go. Then when this one's done here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to build a construction thing here. When this construction thing is done here, then I'm going to improve the tobacco. Oh, we got a devout scandal. Pause that. It has been revealed that Manuel de Velasco of the Catholic Church has been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. His resignation is being demanded. The people must know of his depravity. Manuel de Velasco gets devout, caught in a scandal for five years. He's no longer popular. Oh, we don't worry about it. And he's slightly unpopular. Hmm. Who's Manuel? He's a politician. Hopefully that's not me. Is that me? Shit, man. That better not be me. Politics. Who's who's me? Where's me at? Who's the ruler? Here. This one? Alright. Alright. No, that's not me. I'm Jose. I'm not Manuel. Alright, so this one here. Let's do this. There we go. Screw the Catholic Church, man. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, six weeks.
Five weeks. Four weeks. Three weeks. <clears throat> Saturday, Sunday. We're down to two weeks. So we'll wait about midway through the uh, last week here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here we go. Construction. There you go. That says nine weeks there. Now when that one's done, then we're going to work on our tobacco plantation, which is what they're wanting to do here in Los Rios. Uh-oh, money. Oh, because we're constructing. Ouch. All right, 137. We're still maintaining. We're trying. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Let's uh let's let that hold for a minute. Ooh, shit. All right. 3 weeks, 2 weeks. Let this balance back out here on our money for a minute. We're counting with Da Vinci. <laughs> One week. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. We're going to let that be positive for a minute. All right, so now we got nine on our construction. We started off with five. So that means things will build slightly faster. All right, let's go down here to Los Rios. We need to improve our tobacco. 150 construction, so that should be about three times as long as it was taken on the construction things. Those took us about 10 weeks, so it should be about 25 to 30 weeks, I would guess. So we got to go against 25 to 30 weeks. So this is... Um, about 70 or 80 weeks worth of money. Napoleonic Warfare. Alright. Let's this go. Alright, the lathe. Awesome. 140. We'll wait uh, a couple of more. A couple of more. We'll get that to about 150 or so. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There we go. All right. That's good. Now let's work on our tobacco. They want us to expand the tobacco plantation. I really don't want to do it, but they want us to. So here we go. 17 weeks. That's better than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to be in the negative for 17 weeks. Then hopefully that'll improve some of our money. Hmm. All right, I need another coffee, guys. So I'm going to slow this down, and I'll be right back. Last cup of coffee of the day. There we go. Heist some money there. Gamble it all. Gamble it all away. Oh, I'd be careful with the slots, man. You lose a lot of money on slots. All right, we're at 13 weeks. Let's uh, bump this speed up a little. Oh, man, look at that money. That money's killing us. Where are we at? Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. So we're at, man, there goes all of our money, all of our money. Let's see if we can fix any of that in some of the trade. Um, where's our trade? Let's export. Can we do uh, clothing or fabric? Nope. 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 Yep, we can go export some grain to Argentine. We can do that to the Brits. 
Nope. 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 And we can do a little bit of... Nah, I don't really want to do the tools. Oh, man. Imports. Imports are killing us, man. Something. Something is going nuts here. Goods from government buildings. Government uh, wages. Military. Hmm. Oh, 10,000 on the construction. That's killing us, man. How much more we got on the construction, man? We got eight weeks on the construction. Jesus. I don't know if we can last eight weeks. All right, can we make our buildings slightly more efficient? What do we got going on here? Oh. Hmm. All right, so tobacco. We got our tobacco. Tobacco is... Produces goods. Produces the tobacco. All right. Hmm. Man, this is such a slow economy. It's hard to get it going. Man, I might have gone a little bit too fast. Seven weeks on this. The livestock produces meat and fabric. Hmm. All right. Our lumber, our logging seems to be doing okay there. Oh, here we go. This right here. This is it. Input goods shortage. Small arms and artillery. Shortages of wood. Shortages of wood. Shortages of wood. All right. So we got to improve our logging. That's going to fix. So as soon as this tobacco thing is done... Yep, as soon as the tobacco thing's done, then we got to improve our wood. We got to get more wood this morning. But we got to save some money here because we got no money. Hey, squirrel, how's it going? It's probably because of the construction. Construction. We got four weeks left. I don't know if we'll last four weeks on the money, man. I don't want to go into the negative, man. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. 28,000. We're spending 10,000 a week. We're at three weeks. It's going to be right there. We're going to go into the red right as it gets finished. That bites big monkey balls. Watch this. Here we go. 19,000. Here we go. 19,000. 9,000. How's the buildings? This is the last week. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's slow it down here. It's Friday night. Let's everybody go smoke some tobacco. All right, how's our export on our tobaccos? We don't have tobacco to export? What the flip? Oh, here it is. Here it is. There we go. We got it. Oh, we're still at negative money. That sucks. Pause that for a second. We got something going on here with the trades. All right, let's try our imports.
Yeah, we're totally unproductive on any of this stuff, man. All right. Hmm. Man, that sucks. All right, let's go from here. Let's check and see what our British market and our American market looks like. Right here. What do we got? There's that. There's that. There's that. Nothing's really doing too good, but it's all green. And we've got an American market over here. That's zero. And that's zero. Hmm. Exports? Maybe let's go over here to this and see. I gotta figure out how this screen works. You're smoking something? <laughs> Alright. There's my chili market. No. There we go. That didn't go there. Got to figure out our money, man. Budget. All right, we're losing a little bit of money, man. Taxation, I can't tax anymore. Seven twenty-six, we're bringing in. Seven sixty-two, it costs us. Hmm, that sucks. Goods for military buildings. Cost on us. Construction. Oh shit, man. There's our bureaucracy went up, man. Ouch. 38% of our taxes are going away to waste. That's it right there. For flip's sake. Add a consumption tax. Add another one. Let's do tobacco. No. Can I do... There we go. Services. Slightly positive. And tobacco. What can we do with this? Infamy. Prestige. Can I do something with that? Wars, diplomatic. Can I do something with trading? No. Diplomacy. Nah, nothing. All right, well, we're at least positive now. I'm positive we're positive. At least for a week. There we go. Alright. We just barely scraped by our reserves. Man. Um, all nations are in deck. They just ignore it. Why do you lose the game if the same thing happens? Well, it can get, it can get bad. Yes, but currently all nations are in debt. That is correct. In the real world. All right, here we go. Establish trade routes. Fix unproductive. Here we go. Let's slow this down. It wants us to fix the unproductive. Dude, got it. Mass communication. We can now print a newspaper. What the flip? All right, let's go down to one. Improve the earnings of the wheat farm in Santiago. Tell me how to improve those earnings in the wheat farm in Santiago. Look for the wheat farm in the state panel. 
Buildings. No. Budget. State. Santiago. The wheat farm. Here's the wheat farm. All right, if the goods on the input are too expensive, you can focus on reducing the price. So, tools. Expand the building, expand the tool to make it cheaper for the wheat farm. If the goods on the output side of the process are too cheap, you can focus on raising the price. This could be an opportunity to expand buildings that consume those goods. So what consumes this is the winery, urbanization. All right, so it could be because, remember how I changed this earlier? To use tools? Maybe we need to take that away. Most straightforward way to deal with a price discrepancy such as this to establish trade routes to import the goods. Or export you produce excess of. All right. So, can we do an export? Export of the grain? No. That's not profitable for us. What the flip, man? Through the trade lens. Alright, got it. Import. Um, import tools. What's tools? Where's tools, man? Where's the flipping tools? There we go. Nope, that's not going to be profitable for us. Well, what the flips it want us to do? Trade routes. Hmm. I think the best thing to do is to take away the tools, man. Santiago. The wheat field. Don't use tools, man. There we go. Got it. We could subsidize it. We don't need to do that. I understand it now. All right. Hopefully that fixes that. Uh-oh. What do we got? Home of the anchor man. Oh, is that where, uh... Is that where the the uh, comedy show, comedy movie, Anchorman, is that where he was from? Yeah, I was making tools. Yeah. So I was making tools at one of these places. But I, I changed my farm from doing things by hand to using more tools. So that made the cost of the farm stuff, the grain, to go up. So I backed off of doing that. Alright, we're slowly getting reserves. That's super, super slow, man. Super slow. Improve the earnings. I thought we fixed it, man. Wheat Farm has maintained a productivity of at least five pounds or been subsidized for four weeks. What the flip, man? Buildings. What the heck? Santiago. Wheat Farm. Weekly balance. We're doing it, man. We're doing this, man. A productivity of at least five pounds or subsidized for zero out of four weeks. We're doing that, man. 
We've got a wheat farm, right? It wants the wheat farm. Yeah, Santiago. Wheat farm. We got a weekly balance, plus 11. We've done that, man. Why is it not clicking? All right, establish a trade route. Begin imports of man. Man, I cannot afford to buy shit. A man of war. I ain't got no money to buy a man of war. Come on. Why is this not? Wheat farm has maintained a productivity of at least five pounds. All right. What the flip? Let's subsidize it. Get that thing to. I don't think I need to subsidize it. There. Whatever. Four weeks. One week. It's going to kill my money. Man, I love this music. All right. There we go. Speed this up. One week. It wanted me to subsidize it to get rid of that. All right, Andres Gamara, leader of the industrialists, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for the industrialists within the government. However, it's not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for their novel tactics. Andres shall be recognized. The industrialists get supported's power scheme for 25. Uh, minus 25 interest. A foiled scheme. Uh, let's go ahead and let it go. All right, three out of four weeks. Got it. The wheat farm has recovered, paving the way for increased wages. Good. Grow the GDP. GDP has been negative. Cool. Let's try to make some money instead of spending money. Where's our budget at? Our budget, we have 9,000 extra. Zero. <laughs> Wow, it is 1838, man. We are making zero money. This is insane. We are never going to make any money. All right, Santiago. Los Rios. Oh, you know what? We never made this wheat farm, did we? Here we go. Let's try it. We're going to lose some money. 74. This is going to cost us... It's going to cost us 45 per week. It's going to be close. All right, what's our budget looking like? We're at nine. Hopefully we can get it done and get it over with pretty quick. Let's do it. 17 weeks. Ouch. Ouch. We're going into debt. We're going into debt, boys and girls. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. We're going to go into debt with this, aren't we? Yep. There it is. We're into debt. Let's see what the creditors want from us. <laughs> Ouch! There we go. It's going to be ugly. Well, hopefully we won't have to import grain, though. That'll improve some of that. 
That was the whole plan at the beginning. All right, how's our building doing? 12 weeks to go. Maybe we don't need to subsidize this one anymore. Let's stop subsidizing it. Oh, okay. So we're subsidizing it to maintain full employment. All right. How's our budget? A hundred thousand. Ouch. That's going to take a while to recover that shit. Yeah, this one's hard. This one is hard. I'll admit. Oh, wait a minute. Santiago. Oh, we're building the wheat farm. Three weeks to go. Come on. Hurry it up. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's done. Finally. Now our money's back. Now we got to make sure it's positive. Where's our market? Trade routes. Inactive on the small arms. Grain. Um... Let's check. We probably don't have to. We're positive. We're positive. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Yeah. We don't probably don't have to get the grain here. Price impact on the Chilean market. Can we lower that? Um, no priority. change in revenue market good policy how do I get rid of how do I get rid of that grain there was a screen that I exit out of that's not it Diplomacy. Diplomatic plays. Nothing. Interactions. Begin improving relations. Let's go ahead and do that, man. All right, and let's go ahead and improve relations. Can we improve relations with America, too? That'd probably be good. Maybe that would help. Hmm. All right, maybe that'll help. Income taxes, poll taxes, consumption taxes. Budget. Slowly, slowly. So in about a uh, hundred, in about uh, three years, we'll break even. But of course, the interest will have killed us. <laughs> Shit. Oh, we're all the way. Whoa, what is this? Western Australia and Queensland. Hmm, we got to fix something with the markets here. How did I get to that exit screen to like exit and cancel out of certain trades? Hmm, I thought it was like up here at the top of this screen. Maybe it doesn't give me that option right now. Hmm. 
Nope. Import trade routes of grain. Hmm. Bolivian. Where's the British market? Why is it not showing the British market? I was importing grain from Britain earlier. Oh, look, here, this has jumped way back down. The bureaucracy, that's helped a lot. Something. Trade routes. Oh, now we're importing iron. Importing... How do I... How do I get... How do I stop importing grain from Britain? Exporting grain. How do I stop importing grain from Britain? Maybe I just keep making more grain? One forty. Slow, man. Slow. Really slow. Oh, okay. Leave the EU. That's right. <laughs> All right. Nothing here. Oh, we do have a wheat farm there. Hmm. Not enough qualifications. So 0 0.41 for that. This grain here. We're currently importing some iron. This one's 0 0.35. This one would be 0 0.41. So this one is slightly more efficient because we're subsidizing, I guess. So maybe we subsidize this one also. It is subsidized. Hmm. Alright, so the iron. What's the iron doing? Picks and shovels in the iron. Hmm. All right, process. You need tools to make iron. Chilean market. Sell orders of 57. Buy orders are 40. So we got plus 16. Try and get productivity up to 5. Then you don't have to subsidize, correct. On the, uh, yeah, on the grains. I think part of it is that it's, whatever this green is, I think it's not fully, oh, that's the cash reserves, employment. That's the price. Can I change the price? Okay, so right now it's cheap here. Cheap for my people. Hover over the 3.2, okay. Here. Productivity. 
Number 147, most productive wheat farm in the world. Minus 58 on productivity compared to the average wheat farms. How do you improve the productivity? Productivity is a relative measure of how much economic value a building generates per employee per year. It is calculated by taking the currently weekly revenue from the production, subtracting the expenses incurred, dividing by the total workforce, and multiplying by 52 weeks. So if we added the tools, they would be more productive. But the tools are more costly. Difference between productivity and average annual wage is the building's weekly balance, also known as a profit. All right, so let's try adding the tools back in. Same thing down here. So if we add the tools back in... Yeah, it makes us spend more tools. It lowers the labor workforce so the people are more productive. Yeah, it's costing us more to make it. All right, a weekly balance of plus 21. We are, as far as most productive buildings in the world, we are number 2,326. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know that's what I did originally was I went back to plows. Okay, so this went up a little bit. This was 27 or something like that a minute ago. This one's five. So we're employing less people, but then if we expanded it, we would be able to employ more people. Number 58. Alright, so it did kind of jump there. I think. Number 59. Hey, Ara, how we doing? Number 59. All right, let's check our money. Is our money anywhere close? We're at 122. Man. Do we improve our tools? Make more tools? Man, that's going to cost forever. Maybe I should have improved my tools before I... Oh, well. Let's do it. There we go. 50 weeks. Ouch. That's going to bite big monkey balls. Gold has been discovered in Arusha. State region can now support additional gold fields. GDP has grown. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Chilean Arusha. We found gold here. Where's the gold? Oh, there's gold down here. Hmm. Man. I don't know, man. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna die an ugly death here. 
Losing money like crazy. Got to get more tools. Alright, we're improving the uh, relationships with these people. Hopefully that helps. Establish a trade route. Wants us to buy uh, to import man of wars. Import goods shortages can be easily dealt with by importing goods. What you require. Why would I require a man of war? And market price for four weeks. All right, select the Man of Wars option. Find the Man of War. Where's the flipping? There's a Man of War. All right, from the British market. Next. Unless you can trade with a uh, over overland with a market adjacent to your own, you need convoys and a port to trade, though. The remote market does not require a port, but it does need a coastline. The number of sea nodes your route passes through influences its cost. So trading with more remote markets requires more convoys. Good. In order to trade with a market, you also require an active interest in a strategic region where the market has a presence. Level on the predicted level of the trade center. Think of the level as how much population with this route provided for. All right. Ah, shit, man. See, I knew it was going to cost us more money. The amount of trade route is capable of moving is linked to its level. This is the number of goods you can expect from this route. The market price. The price of a good in the market is based on its buy and sell orders and the effect of the local price in all participating states. Productivity of a trade route is the amount of profit generated. Got it. I figured that was going to be there. Your trade route has now been established for as long as it remains profitable for the pops in the trade center. Got it. It will help keep expanding until a market price equilibrium has been reached between the two markets. Okay, so it balances out after a while. If the quantity is insufficient to resolve your input, you can uh, start more trade routes. All right, got it. Or domestic produ production. Got it. What? Barbzy is the name of a parrot species? The macaw parrot? You have six. Wow. Never knew that, Barbzy. Barbzy's a parrot. How about that? Alright, are we still building stuff? Our tooling workshop, 44 flipping weeks. There we go. Man, the history of the world will be over before we're finished making money. Alright, exporting things. We don't really have anything we can export, do we? Liquor. To Bolivia. Nothing. What about our imports? Mm, the British market on guns? Ecuador. Ecuador would definitely be closer. Bolivian market for what is that furniture? There we go. Paddle steamer has been unlocked.
All right. Hmm. So we're still on neutral. Neutral grounds there. All right, we can uh, do something here with this. Usage of minus 400. You're generating 780. Let's continue with... Can we do more consumptions? We got 300. Let's do... Oh, man, grain. I would love to do that. Consumption tax on furniture. Um, government wages lower. There we go. Lower that. Man. All right, what are we missing here? Wood. Oh, that's right. We needed to fix our wood before. Shit. All right, what's our building? Um, tooling workshop, 20 weeks. And then we need to need to uh, improve our lumber. About this m money here. Budget. Hmm. There's struggling people here. Really? Oh, shit, man. Look at our money. I don't think we're going to dig out of this, boys and girls. I really don't think we are. This is going to be ugly. Might as well go faster so we die quicker. <laughs> Ouch. This is ugly. Look at that. Look at that. It's a straight nose. Oh, the gold reserves are going down. All right, do we have a gold mine? Let's increase our gold mine. Predicted earnings. Construction. 300 constructions. Ouch. I think we may have to. We get to the point where we declare bankruptcy. Then uh, we'll have to restart. How's that building going? Uh, 10 weeks. 10 weeks. And then we need to improve our wood. Small arms. Shortages of small arms and artillery. Penalty on all outputs for this building. That's fine. Come on. Hurry it up. Six weeks. Hopefully that'll fix. Wood. Wood is doing bad. Grain. How's the grain doing? Hopefully the tools will fix. If we have lower tool costs, that will fix our grain. Throughput. Minus 5% from defaulting on loans. Alright, improve access to consumer goods. Got it. All right, we're a little bit closer. Realism. Yeah, believe me, this is real. We're losing money again. We're, we're getting good at losing money. That's awesome. How's this guy doing here? I think we're doing a little bit better. Or a little bit worse. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's, uh... Small arms. Banking's unlocked. Oh, here. All right, we can get some kind of research going here. Hmm. Anneries. What are we fo focused in on? More of this. Iron, sulfur, gold mines. Coal, iron. Hmm. Steel mills? No, don't need that. Um, soil and rich farming. Rye, wheat, production method. Maybe we should do our farming. Let's 
do that. All right, two years and we'll have better farms. I know the money must flow. I know 200. We're not losing as much. <laughs> oh, pain is real. Pain is real. There we go. What do we got? We're in default. Due to not being able to pay back our loans, until we are able to reach a positive balance, we will suffer penalties. Offense, defense, and throughput. Denied. There we go. We did something. Yeah, the bureaucracy is killing us, man. Oh, wow. Remaining credit, zero. We have no credit. No credit at all. Our creditors don't like us. Interest rate. We have no credit. Remaining credit. How we have remaining credit of 800 out of 400? Hmm. I don't think we're going to dig out of this. I think it's ugly. 242. That balance sheet does not look good. The interest is killing us. Subsidies are killing us. Let's take away the subsidies. Subsidies. Stop that. Look, we're positive. We're positive. Proof positive. Subsidies don't work. Subsidies. Gone. Look, we're in the green. We're in the green. We're saved. Just like that. <laughs> Remaining credit. Nada. Canneries have been unlocked. Alright, so at this rate... It's going to take uh, about a thousand weeks. <laughs> it's going to take about a thousand weeks <laughs> for us to dig out of this hole. That's easy. That's easy. What's that, like 20 years? Yeah, it'll be, uh, the, the American Civil War will be well in full swing. And then we'll be back to zero. There we go. All right, we do need to work on our... Why does this say paused? What is paused? Oh, construction in Chile has been paused. Oh, the tooling workshop. Resume it. Yeah, four weeks. Come on, man. Come on, do it. Do it. One. Come on, do it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Just flip and finish it. Just flip and finish it. No, don't pause it. Finish it. We'll be fine. Oh, for flip's sake. It won't let me finish it. If it finishes, it fixes. It's like one week from being finished. What do you mean by the wrong investments? We only make expert investments. Wood to Bolivia. Grain to nobody. Hey, Minnie, how we doing? Tools to Bolivia. We're oblivious to tools. Man. Where's Bolivia? Argentinians? We're out of money. 
I mean, what do you mean we're out of money? We're not, I understand we're out of money. We're out of money, I understand. We're out of money, I understand. I understand. I understand, you, you think we're out of money? We're not really out of money. Here's our Bolivian market. Improve the relations with Bolivia. I understand. I understand. I, I, I sincerely understand. <laughs> they don't like us. Our budget, 501. Oh, we've got a little more credit now. That's great. And we used it all. <laughs> You're going to leave me in the capable hands. Got to go Viking with Squall. Oh, yeah. Hey, enjoy that. I'm going to actually finish up here real soon. We're uh, about to declare some bankruptcy and call this a day, I think. I understand. We're out of money. How did you know we were out of money? Fixed capacity deficit. We're 105. We started out at minus 25. Now we're at minus 105. It couldn't have gone any more worse. Emily, how's it going? I don't think this playthrough could have gone much worse than it is now. But that's okay. We've learned absolutely nothing from our playthrough. And we'll not figure out how to improve on the next playthrough either. So, whatever you do, don't hit that subscribe button. Do not hit that like button. Because this was really crappy. And, uh... Maybe we'll play this again. <laughs> and learn more. Learn a little bit next time. <laughs> oh, lol. Alright, they've raised our credit because they realized that we're not good for it. Bankruptcy. There we go. We wiped our slate clean. There you go. I understand. We got it. Losing power rank. Ooh, subjugation demand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The United States of America demands that we submit to them and become their protectorate. If we accept, we will become their subject. I guess the game's over if I accept it, right? Do it. Is game over? A donation of knowledge. Oh. Wow, capacity deficit has been completed. I understand. Hmm. Oh, a country in the American market. Diplomacy. Donation of knowledge. That's a wonderful idea. Um... When we became a subject of America, everything improved. Isn't that what happened to it anyway? <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. All right, so who's got the poor relations? Ooh, Chile and Bolivia is now poor. Hmm, cordial between these two. Oh, here, let's, let's stop improving relations. Diplomacy. Um... Cordial. How do I how do I stop? How do I stop? Stop improving relations. Stop improving relations. There we go. Alright, so now do we have money now? We do have a little bit of money in reserve. 
Days of Darkness. An eruption of unprecedented. Dutch East Indi Whoa, let's read this. Alright, an eruption of unprecedented records has utterly destroyed the lives of many Dutch East Indias in the state of West Java. The explosion of the Kratoa could be heard for hundreds of miles away. We shall help with all that we have. Uh, who cares? They're on their own. There we go. Alright, so we got a reserve of 60,000. Alright, let's fix our lumber market, maybe? What is this? Losing power rank. Of course we are. Where's our lumber industry? We don't have lumber there. We got lumber here. Let's increase that. How long is that going to take? There we go. How long is that going to take? Oh, wow. One week? What? Oh, it's paused. Thirty-two flippin' weeks. You crazy. Alright, so the construction sector requires fabric and wood. Hmm. Okay, so you need fabric and wood to work your construction sector. Okay. Yeah, the logging camp. Yeah. I think we still lost anyway. Let's go faster. I like how the towns slowly grow. This is cool. Actually, Conception. Yeah, I used to uh, live in a town called Valparaiso. Not this one. And uh, I was also involved with Conception there a long time ago, but not that one. Tamuco. 21 weeks. Hectoa explosion will time out. There we go. All right, Emily. Enjoy your day. We can probably stop re improving. Technology. Hmm. So money's still not doing so hot. And what is here? What is here? What is this? Burning ashes. We can send them some food. Nope. We're too poor. We're too poor to send them anything. Hmm. We're back to taking loans. Yeah, this one's this one's a hard one. This one is a hard one. You start off with pretty much nothing. I would like to play this one again sometime, I think. The can-do attitude. Spend some money. Nope. Yep. Due to this, they're they are unhappy. Too bad. They'll have to be unhappy. But, oh, we're positive on money now. Good. What about if we... start paying our government people a little more? Are they going to be more productive with the taxing? Hmm. 
Hmm. Mm, the logging camp is making money. Wheat farms, not much. Cash reserves, employment. Okay, this is better than it used to be. Not this one. These are a little bit better. What about improving the gold mine? Needs tools. expand the gold mine hmm how's our budget not very much man there we go got our agriculture let's change our agricultures that should fix hopefully let's see if that fixes a little bit um Soil enriched farming. There we go. Weed farm. So simple farming here. Hmm. Oh, it consumes fertilizer. Shit. We're gonna have to buy fertilizer if we do the soil enriched farming. Shit. It says it produces a little bit more money. Increased employment. Try it. There we go. It looks like we're being more productive. Weekly balance, not much. Not much. Hmm. All right, so we're making a little bit of money here. There we go. Peace treaty. All right. So we're positive here on the money now. That's good. All right. Let's build our construction infrastructure again. We might have actually pulled out of this. Build one. Nine weeks. There we go. Wait for that to finish. We'll be negative for a few weeks. Five. We actually pulled out of it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. We got something we can uh, figure out here. What do we got here? We got the steam donkey. That'll be good for our mining. Improved fertilizers. All I did was go bankrupt and it fixed it. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> Barzy. 
There we go. Three weeks. Two weeks. All right, construction down here. There we go. Let's do that one. How's our budget looking? All right, we're at 100,000. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Two weeks, one week, and does it go green? Yep, just like that. Now we gotta leave it for a little bit. Let it build back up to about 150. And it's 1844 already. Migration. Large number of Afro-Caribbean people have been migrating to our state of lost whatever. Okay. That's fine. Let's keep them migrating, man. Keep them migrating. All right, so our construction thing is uh, improving slightly. It'll probably take our cost, too. Hmm. Just barely there. What's our budget looking like? We're at 100. Yeah, I'd love to actually try to attack somebody before I decide and call it quits. What do we got? We got a weak nation here somewhere? What about this guy? What about this guy? What does this guy say? They're protective. United States... American attitude? Oh, America has taken over this country down here. Holy shit. America, this is part of America here. Wow. All right, what about Bolivia? No. Mapuche? Calm. What do they got here? What do they got that we might need? They've got nothing. They're not developed. They do have some military. Alright. We don't have any military might, though. What about this thing here? Uneasy. They don't like us. They don't have anything. It's a crazy game, yeah. Yeah, the Americans. Patagonia is a state in the United States of America. America has taken it over. Bolivia. Well, if we attacked Bolivia, let's make friends with Brazil. How does Bolivia think about... Um, politics... All right, got it. Information. Military dictatorship. That might not be good to attack them. Um, their GDP is 1.5. And ours is 1.1. Their literacy is 32%. So they're, they have more money than us. They're smarter than us. Their standard of living is slightly less than ours. And uh, the people... They've got 16 battalions. Oh, wow. Our rank is, like, sucking. What is our military like, man? Our military, we have 10. 10 battalions. They've got 16. We don't want to do that. Fuck yeah! What the flip? Oh, Barbsy. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you so much, Barbsy. I hope you're enjoying this uh, craziness. All right, what's our money look like? Oops. All right, 200,000. There we go. Let's improve some stuff. Let's improve the flow of goods. Uh, 
Um, what do we got here? Wheat farms. Let's slow this down a bit. We're 1845. Hmm. Our construction is a little bit better. Barracks. That would increase our government expenses. We need to improve this a lot. Livestock ranches, tobacco plantations. Can I make this more? We need... It produces fabric and meat. Produces tobacco. You know what? We thought about the fishing a while back. Coal mine. Coal mine for tools. Let's go up here. Our tools here. They need iron and wood to make tools. So if we pr improve the iron. That's weird. The tools needs iron and wood. The iron needs tools. It's kind of a big circle, isn't it? All right, so improve our tools. Improve iron, improve wood. Hmm. Down here. Um. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have a government building here, do we? That'll improve productivity, I think. Let's go ahead. Improve the logging camp here. Takes 16 weeks. Speed it up. There we go. We'll wait till the scare ops down to about 12. Uh, maybe about 8. And then we'll make a logging camp here. I ah, will wait a little bit more. It's it's soaking up a lot of our money. Wow. There goes all of our money. Ouch. 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 That's look how fast our money's going down, man. That's crazy. Five weeks. Man. All right, three weeks, two weeks. One week. There you go. We're down to 100,000. And... Green. Better go back to green. There we go. We're back to green. There we go. Why does the logging camp cost so much? Yeah, I know. Well, I think it's costing so much to construct because my construction infrastructure is not that good. Which is what I tried to do originally, is improve that. But I just, I don't have anything to start with. Export routes.